Welcome to my 10th annual What I Got for Christmas haul. My Christmas haul. What I got for Christmas 2015. What I got for Christmas 2016. I'm doing my What I Got for Christmas haul video. What I got for Christmas. What I got for Christmas 2019. What I got for Christmas 2020. My annual Christmas haul. I've been doing this for a while. I just hit my 10 year anniversary on YouTube, which is so crazy. 10 years ago on Christmas Eve, I was 13 years old. I wanted to make a what I got for Christmas haul so badly. Insert photo here. So I did. And that was the start of my channel. So it's safe to say that my entire life was built on little old me wanting to share a 13 year old's Christmas haul. And now here we are 10 years later. Will I be 80 years old doing what I got for Christmas hauls? Possibly, I wouldn't doubt it. I haven't missed a year of doing these except for last year and that I will regret for the rest of my life, but we're back doing them. I just wanted to say thank you guys for being here and for supporting me. It's crazy that we've been together for 10 years now, whether you're new here or you've been around for a while. I love you. My Christmas looked a little bit different this year. It was my first time away from my entire family. Everyone went up to New York. That's where my mom's side of the family lives. But I had to stay here for a reason that you'll know very soon in the new year. So I spent the day with Micah and Micah's family, which is my boyfriend, if you don't know. And that was really special, really fun. But yeah, you didn't ask for a lot of information. You asked to see what I got. So let's get into it. If you've been around, you might know what's in these mystery bags. I kept them unwrapped because I thought it'd be fun to do on camera. <laughs> these are the gifts that my lovely dear grandmother gets me every single year for the past three or four years. It's kind of become, at first it was like a joke, but now it's a tradition because you'll see. This is peak adulthood to me. Basically it started off, she would just gift me this because every time I would go to her house, I was like, oh my gosh, you have the best toilet paper, it's so soft. We didn't buy the super expensive toilet paper at home because the Charmin brand is like a few dollars extra. That adds up, I get it. So she gifted it to me one year, I was obsessed. And now that I live on my own, it's kind of become a thing that she'll get me like household items, which as an adult, I appreciate probably more than anything else I could get because it's expensive. Good old paper towel rolls, that's, that's all I need. But then she went the extra mile. She also bought me a value pack of tissues and dishwasher, this is right? Yeah, dishwasher pods. I look forward to this every single year because this will last me a while. I go, okay, now time to get into the stuff that you probably uh, are more excited to see. My dad knows I've been wanting to do this for so long. It is an ancestry DNA kit. You basically swab your mouth, you send it in, they tell you your results, which I think is so cool. I obviously know what my parents are, but it's fun to see your own mix. And I don't know, maybe discover something new. Possibly, I will keep you updated. I have been wanting to do this for so long, so I'm really excited about this. He also got one for Micah, so we'll see how our, uh, we'll see our gene pool. <laughs> And then from Coda, Coda is my dog. Well, technically it's my parents' dog, but it's my dog too. I'm more of like a sister character. And especially now that I don't live at home, I don't see him as much. That pains me to say. Anyway, this is from him. I heard he picked it out himself. It is a custom shirt that says property of Coda, estimated 2020, that's when we got him. And it's him. Given he's not pink, they got the coloring a little wrong, but it's a little pointer dog and it's so cute. They even got his short little tail correct and his little stance. I'm obsessed. Maybe this is like ruining <laughs> the shot. <laughs> My mom got me these beautiful Tahitian pearl bangle bracelets that I'm so excited for. Those haven't come in yet. And then she also treated me to some very nice body soap. This one is from Le Labo. I refuse to buy this for myself. It's a little bit crazy, but it smells so good. I savor this. I use it for special occasions only. And then she got me a little Aesop hand soap. And then she also got me this little lemon holder because every time I go over to their house, they have this like lemon holder and I was jealous. So she got me my own, very excited because now my lemons are kind of just like flip flopping around the fridge, getting everywhere. So it'll be nice to have a container for them now. Micah killed it this year with the gifts. Last year, he got me this little M necklace. So sweet, it's beautiful. I've pretty much worn it every single day. He got me a ring. I'm just kidding. I would not, I would not announce it like that. <laughs> but he did get me a ring. It's this beautiful gold ring that's custom 
with etchings of, why am I shaking? Both of our birth flowers are etched into this. It's so beautiful. And we kind of have this little thing going on. It's so cute. For my first birthday that we spent together, he hand drew this beautiful piece of art for me. And it's us like holding hands and both of our birth flowers. And he wrote down lyrics to like single lines of lyrics from all the songs from the first playlist he ever made me. So that's kind of where that started. And now I have both of our birth flowers. So cute. That's staying on my right hand. And then he also got me his favorite book that he's ever read. It's Where the Red Fern Grows. He read it growing up and I don't think I've ever read it. I'm pretty sure I have it. I don't remember anything about it, but he wanted me to read it since it's his favorite book and he knows I love to read. I'll probably read this in like 30 minutes because it's so tiny, but I'm very excited. And then he also got me my own kit of ceramic and pottery tools, which is very exciting because I do pottery at a place where basically you share everything. It's like a communal space, which is really nice, but all the, all, all the tools are shared, which is great. But what's even better is having some of my own stuff now. Very excited about this. That is a hobby that I have been absolutely loving. So that was super cool. And also to kind of go along with that, he got me this little apron to wear. It's so cute. It's got like a cut down the middle. So it's just perfect. He got me headphones, gamer girl headphones. They're light pink. It's from the brand Turtle Beach. I have told him that I want to maybe become a Twitch streamer one day. So he got me my own headset, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared to use right now because when I play Call of Duty specifically, I am not very good yet. It's a work in progress. I kind of suck. That's besides the point. But when you're playing online, when other people are connected, you can hear your teammates and I'm the one that's like gonna suck. And so strangers around the world will probably be like, who is this girl playing? She sucks. Well, I, they're not gonna know that. Well, also my username, uh, they're gonna know I'm a girl. So they're definitely gonna tease me, but you know what? It's okay. I've built a thick enough skin over being on the internet for 10 years, so I should be okay. We'll see, I don't know. I know people can be kinda relentless on there, but I'm gonna practice. I'm so excited and it's just more exciting that this is light pink because my controller is hot pink. And then he also got me a new camera, which I don't have yet because Allegedly, it's high in demand, which I believe it's one of the DJI brands new cameras for like creators I'm so excited to use it. You'll definitely see me using it in an upcoming vlog I'll move on to what I got myself kind of killed it know her really well Are you joking? It's red adidas shoes. I've been obsessed with red. Can you tell maybe? Okay, also the lighting just did not do me justice, so cool. I've been eyeing these for so long. I got them on a really good sale for Black Friday. I'll link these down below if you're interested. I just thought these were so cute. I wear a lot of pretty simple, basic outfits, so it's nice to have like a pop of color somewhere. So I'm very excited about these. And then I got myself a pair of Ray-Bans. I wear the black version of these literally every single day. And I wanted to get me a pair of brown ones just because sometimes brown looks better with certain outfits and it's a little less, oh. Oh my gosh, I thought my camera just turned off, but whoa, those are really good. From my management team at Select and my manager, they got me this cute little custom candle. It says my name on it and a little message and it smells so delicious. Get a whiff of that. Mm, that was super sweet and then this might be one of my favorite gifts that I got. It's a squatty potty. Micah's parents gifted it to me because I have wanted one of these for so long. My setup before, anytime I was doing my thing, I would just drag the trash can and put my feet on there. I will say this has been tried and tested. I'm very excited about this. Finally have one. I don't know why I never got one. Amazing. Micah's brother also got me an apron. This one is a little bit different. First of all, she's denim. So cute. And this one goes all the way down. There's straps for my legs. So it's like a full suit. I'm so excited. It's so cute. I think it's so fashionable as well. And then his sister got me this pack of 50 velvet hangers. She was like, I've noticed in your videos, you just have the white plastic ones. And these ones are non-slip. They're a little bit nicer. I just, I've always envied when people have these nice velvet hangers because 
they just work a lot better. They don't slip around, whatever, but I've never gotten them for myself. So now I have some. And this is so cute. Micah's cousin made me this little tote bag. She crocheted this herself last year. I'll show you my, well, actually, I didn't do a haul last year. Cool. She made these coasters, which we use every single day. I'm obsessed and she's also just so good at it. So I'm so excited. I feel like I can fit my book in here, a little wallet and my phone, good to go. Lastly, from Charlotte Tilbury, I got my own little custom stocking, which is so sweet. I worked with them earlier this year, which was so cool. Got to be a part of a campaign with them. Got to meet Charlotte Tilbury in person and they sent over this little stocking, which I thought was so cute. There's just a ton of little gift sets of Charlotte Tilbury stuff, which is one of my favorite makeup brands of all time. So cute. And I just thought the stocking was so cute. I didn't have a stocking this year. This was perfect. So that is what I got for Christmas this year. I'm gonna throw it back old YouTube style and say these words, which I'm shocked I haven't said yet. I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape or form. Obviously these are just like fun to make, fun to watch. I love watching these videos. I'm like, what did you get? What did you get? Oh, I know you come from a really rich family. I wanna see all the Chanel bags you got. Like, I, I don't know why, I just love these videos. So hopefully you liked this one. Again, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. The fact that I have been doing this for 10 years now is actually insane. That's almost more than half of my life that I've been sharing my life on the internet, that you guys have been allowing me to share my life and I wouldn't have the life that I have right now without you watching. So I love you. If you stayed to this point in the video, comment down below the lemon emoji so I know who stayed. And if you're feeling spicy, let me know what your favorite gift that you gave this year was. I think my favorite gift that I gave was this punny dad t-shirt. He loves wearing like funny dad joke shirts. I got him a shirt that says lawn enforcement. He ate it up.